Algorithmic trading is the process of uh, creating a computer algorithm which mimics a trader's behavior on the exchange. So basically the objective is to have a set of instructions which would behave in a operate in on the exchanges in the way in the same way the trader would have operated manually. So anything can be broken down, any problem can be broken down into a series of steps and if it can be broken down then I can code it out and uh, that is primarily what belongs to the algo trading domain. A more disciplined way of uh, trading, uh, it takes out human emotions out of your strategies and so whatever trading you do is basically based on the statistical analysis or, or on the back tested results that you have. Quant trading would be any implementation of a trading strategy using statistics and uh, some kind of modeling. Uh, it would essentially give the trading model a bit of sophistication and mathematics to back it up. Algo trading and automated trading, you can say they are subsets of uh, quant trading. Okay, so algo trading is basically when you have a logic, you want to follow that logic and then trade. That is basically your algo trading. When you let that logic trade on your behalf, that becomes basically automated trading. So typical day for an algorithmic trader for me is, first of all, we uh, go through all the markets, we, we see all the, uh, all the latest updates that have happened from the end of our trading day to the start of the day. We decide the parameters, we input those parameters based on our uh, analysis, based on uh, based on the reports that we have got, uh, automated reports. There are three things. One would be uh, some operational task where we just generate some reports. Uh, second would be doing some research which will help us improve the existing strategies. The strategies that are live, doing research so that that strategy will be improved. Because one strategy cannot make money all the time. You have to improve that strategy every day because it's very, very competitive. And third would be working on some new strategies. Python is ideally, shoot, ideally uh, suited uh, for uh, for machine learning kind of work, which we are using uh, here to generate trading signals uh, for automatically rebalancing our portfolio. I started with Paul, which was uh, 10 years back. That used to be the main language. Uh, then I had to pick up Octave uh, because uh, that was the primary language in the statistical domain. So now, uh, after that, R came into picture and R took up quite a bit of uh, stride into this quantitative domain and the scientific community. Most of the machine learning new packages are primarily into Python. They first get released into Python and then they are copied into other languages. So, I, while I was doing R and I didn't want to move to any other language because I already learned 10 more languages already. So, the primary reason why I had to move to Python is because all the packages are released first in Python and then they will take another three to six months to get released in uh, other languages, in R or any other language. Well, initially I was using uh, R, but then uh, when I start working with machine learning, I, I moved with Python because it has better APIs and libraries for machine learning. And since then I started doing all my analysis in Python. As a data scientist, Python is the language to learn because it is the most maintained language, the libraries, so you don't have to do everything from scratch. The people ha have written the code, so you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can use a lot of the libraries. So in Python, I have actually worked from building a web framework, a backend for a web framework, to like UI development for displaying real-time data, to controlling different strategies from Python as a CEP engine. According to all those agencies which rates which language you should pick up or which is the hot domain. Data science is one of the top most domain and the primary language is for data science is Python. Of late Python has come up as a strong alternative to any other programming language uh, especially in quantitative terms because a l there, is, there is a broad user base for Python, there are a lot of libraries available for Python and this enables us to move ahead faster if we are to do some kind of quant based trading. If you use Python then it will be faster and it is production ready so you cannot deploy any anything which is written on Excel to deployment but if you use Python you can straight away deploy that on production. So that is another big plus for Python. 
So compared to other programming languages, Python is one of the uh, simpler and easier uh, languages to learn. I actually started, uh, I, I just referred to a tutorial on Python and picked it up on the syntax of it within a day. For any language, I would say you have to first go and re like get yourself familiar with the syntax, variables, if conditions, how to write a user defined function for loops. Python community itself is very big. So if you have any, any doubt, you can just put that doubt on the internet and you will find that exact question that you have. Somebody has already asked the exact same question. It can be a very complex question, but somebody has already asked that question and there are solutions to that question. Uh, the most important thing uh, would be to understand uh, Python or some kind of a programming language which would allow them to do the quantitative part of the trading, uh, trading side and in addition to that they would also have to understand money management and position taking. Well if you want to learn programming I think rule number one would be pick some project first and then start to build your knowledge around that project and then build your programming skills.